Good morning. For a recent trip to Cuba, we realized that we were very limited on the weight of gear that we could carry with us. We had a 50 pound limit. And so we set about to figure out how to come in under that limit with everything that we needed to be safe and effective divers. And so we really had started this process probably two or three years ago with every time that we replaced something that was worn out, we would, with a mind to saving weight, go for something a little lighter and of better quality and just kind of upgrading our gear as we went. We didn't want to just randomly replace things before they were worn out or needed replacing. However, every time we did need to replace something, we made a couple of conscious choices. So uh, one of the things is our fantastic Akona Adventure dive bags. We absolutely love these bags. They are fantastic. They work great on a cruise and dive where weight doesn't matter. They're narrow enough to go up and down the cruise ship um, passageways by the cabins. However, they weigh about 15 pounds each. So we decided not to take those. And instead we took a bag like this. We took an L.L. Bean rolling duffel bag. That's a nylon bag. Looks just like this, except it's red and has my dive partner Bill's initials on it. And that right there saved us. These weigh about five pounds each. That saved us 10 pounds right there. The next thing was, without really making a plan to do this, about a year ago, my dive partner's always dove with his Zegel Ranger, which he was doing a lot more technical diving and still plans to do more technical diving. However, we had an opportunity to invest in a lighter BC, and so this nine pound Ranger was not replaced, but augmented by a seven pound stiletto. So this is a little bit lighter for going on cruises for anywhere that we have to fly. You don't sacrifice pockets or anything like that. And so that was another swap that just saved us about two pounds right there. Now, very specifically for this trip, I was fine with my fins. They don't weigh all that much, but Bill decided that his decor fins that weigh almost three pounds each <laughs> could be maybe lightened up a little bit. And so after reading a whole lot of reviews and consulting our local dive shop, he ended up going with the Scuba Pro Go Sports. These weigh a little bit over a pound and a half each. So it was almost half, almost half as much weight to make this trade. And we took these on a checkout dive to Blue Heron Bid Bridge down at Riviera Beach and they worked out fantastically. No trouble with anything and he really likes them so this this ended up being a really good swap. Um, another swap that would be maybe not dive related but has to do with the gear that we carried was I was bringing with me a Zillion Smooth and this is about the size of it. It's actually I'm using it right now for recording this video But I'll show it to you later. I ordered a DJI Pocket Osmo and so this is going to be not only a whole lot less weight I mean this is going from like three pounds to three ounces, but also a lot less volume in my bag So that's a good thing as well some of the other swaps that we made were rather than, and this is just an overall swap as well, rather than using sealium sticks that take up a lot of space and generate a whole lot of trash in the environment, we got one of these. We first saw these down at 4C and then ordered them online. I'll leave you a link. I can't remember who the manufacturer is, but these are for night dives. And these are, one of these has about enough power as 500 of these. So that's a pretty good swap as far as what's going into the landfill. And these are nice and small and lightweight. Um, another thing that we had done over the past couple years was as we needed to, as our um, lines became a little bit older. We swapped out for braided line, and I'm not even going to weigh what the difference was. I mean, we're talking ounces there, but all in all, every little bit adds up, right? And so that probably helped us out a little bit as well. Another difference was that instead of taking three mil wetsuits, yay, not diving into spring, we don't need three mil wetsuits, to go to Cuba, we took 
one millimeter wetsuits with us. And then the really funny thing was, we could have just not taken these at all because we ended up diving in t-shirts and SPF shirts. We, we didn't need it at all. Another easy swap if you're trying to save some weight, we absolutely love our Dan dry bag. It weighs almost a pound because it's super good quality. It's super tough, has a real heavy handle and everything. When we're on a dive boat, this is just a great way to keep all of our dry clothes and towel dry. But we swapped this out for a C2 Summit bag. And this bag is so lightweight, it almost doesn't even register on our scale. So that was another easy way to save some weight. Another thing I could have done is I'm using the Atomic Aquatics fins, and I had worn out the straps and purchased new straps. These are probably a little bit heavier than if I had replaced them with what came on them originally, but these were easy enough to pop off and made traveling pretty easy. I probably could have saved a couple more ounces there, but that wasn't critical at this point, so that was okay. All right, one of the next places where we saved a lot of weight was on dive lights. And if we were going to do a night dive and we needed one light and then a backup light, okay, this is what we typically would have. A light and a backup each and these lights oh gosh I think together the two of them run about five pounds plus you've got the batteries and if you wear out the batteries are you sure in Cuba you're going to be able to get more batteries so we kind of did a splurge and we decided to got, get the Kraken the 1200 lume lights and these things are just absolutely phenomenal. Can't say enough good stuff about these. It was a bit of a splurge. However, right here around the dial, they actually have different colors to let you know if you've got 50% of your power left or 25% of your power left. And, and further saving space with these amazing Kraken lights is, look at this. Is this not the neatest thing ever? This is how this charges. Although these lights come with a charger, you also can simply plug in the micro USB right there and so that eliminated a couple more pieces of items in our luggage saving a little bit more weight and space. Another thing that we decided to forego was any type of hangers. We said well you know we're, we're, we're not at home, we're not somewhere at where we've got access to a lot of space. We're going to be staying basically in Airbnbs, Casa Particulares, and so we just chose to inflate our BCDs and let them dry as they could. And so all together, we figured out that without any of the improvements, we probably would have been at about 38 and a half, 39 pounds with our gear. And after all of the space saving and weight saving choices that we made, we knocked our gear down to about 16 pounds. And that's a huge difference when you're talking about a week long trip. Not only just taking your, having to drag your gear around from place to place because we stayed at four different places, but also making sure that we came under the weight restriction. A couple things that we did add, we did add TSA locks. These weigh about a quarter pound each and we don't necessarily use these when we're traveling by car. And the other thing that we added weighs about three ounces and it's a scale. It's just the most clever little thing. You simply press on, you can switch it between Imperial and metric. And that way, if we change the way that we had loaded our bags and we needed to recheck the weight distribution, we'd be able to easily do that. And also, we were thinking that we might be traveling with wet gear and wet wet suits and that actually could add a little bit of weight even though we knew we had a full day of no diving before we flew. We weren't sure if they would be completely dry and weigh a little bit more. And so those are all of the things that we did. I'm surrounded here by, by dive gear. Those are all the things that we did in order to lighten up our gear for a dive trip to Cuba. So if you liked any of the tips, let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate you watching and I'd love it if you subscribe and click like and leave any comments or questions below. And we've got some more dive trips coming up. Hope to include you on those. We'll vlog from each location. And I hope you've got some good dive trips planned this summer as well and can use some of these space and weight saving tips for yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.